Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a pick a card reading talking about who is coming towards you in love. Yeah, it's I feel like love is in the air and I feel like this is the reading that I want to do today. I feel like you need to hear this who is coming towards you in love. So I have three piles to choose from. You can choose either just one pile, you can choose two piles, or just listen to the whole reading if you feel called to. As always, leave everything that doesn't apply to your situation or your life, and take what resonates. If a pile does not resonate after you picked it, no worries, just pick another one, okay? It's not that deep. It's an online pick a card reading. Okay, so, pile number one. You've got the Rose Quartz. Pile number two, you would have the Graphic Smoky Quartz. And pile number three, you have the Amethyst. So let me show all three over here for you pick which one you feel the most drawn to you feel drawn to all of them to call them if you feel drawn to one of them or two of them that's fine too so smoky quartz graphic smoky quartz and amethyst this deck has a lot of like really quirky crystals but fairly fairly well known ones came out so i feel like this is this is important. Okay. All right. Group number one. If you pick the rose quartz, this pile is for you. Pile number one. Put it here. Also want to read from the guidebook of this deck of crystals. So it's number 15. So the number 15 might be significant to you. Number six. Number one, number five, so you could be born on the 5th of January or the 1st of Ma uh, May, that's the, that's the one. Um, you can also be born on the 15th of the month, just for an extra confirmation. I don't know, maybe it's like your favorite number or something. Number six, so maybe June is also significant. Yeah, I'm hearing June might be significant of this year. So I don't know if you already met somebody or just started something. So Rose Quartz is unconditional love. It's just on here. You can pause it as well. Um, Rose Quartz is full of unconditional love and infinite peace. It draws loving relationships to you, heals past emotional traumas, or provide support during a crisis. So for self-understanding message, you are a beautiful soul who has infinite peace deep within and enormous empathy. Relationships are where you learn your soul lessons, heal heartbreak or abuse, and dissolve toxic emotions and pain that prevent you from giving and receiving love. You have power to love unconditionally and to support others. Forgive yourself, love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at the end. This is the divination message. I just kind of skipped right straight into it. So forgive yourself, love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at the end. Emotional blockages dissolve. Do not accept blame. Recognize that unconditional love and friendship draw exactly the right people to you. Once you love yourself, you can give and receive love from others. Support is available in a crisis. A healing insight, if you're going through a bit of a rough patch right now, this unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or another. So yeah, um, we have frequency. So frequency is medium to high, depending on clarity. The heart chakra is ruled by this crystal um timing is taurus or libra so this net new development what's coming next to love might be happening in either libra season 
because right now it's July or Taurus season, which is less than a year away from now. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we cannot we cannot control timing and that soul path is radiating unconditional love so i think like here you're being called to show love to yourself at the very first first and foremost because no one's gonna you know do that for you you have to start with yourself you have to really feel that heart chakra opening up. I really like this deck. It has like a lot of information about each crystal. Oh, we have <laughs> Ten of Cups underneath. Uh, I, no, guys, like I feel like you could have met somebody in either Taurus season or um, or June, and then the next. I feel like the next development in your connection is coming in Libra season. And if you if you can tell me right now, Chris, I did not meet anybody at all. Like, I don't like anybody. I did, I'm not talking to anybody. Then you will have something coming in, in a person, new person coming in in Libra season, which starts at the end of September. Not that long. But again, timing is fluid, energy is always a changing, you know, you cannot control those things. Um, okay, keep falling all down. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I feel like two people might be coming towards you. <laughs> and both of them are like ready. <laughs> I'm just getting a bit like excited here. I'm like smiling so much right now. I feel like you'll be happy about this. Yes. And then I'll just do a little clarifier for every card. Okay, you're definitely, you've definitely been through it, you guys. You've been, you've been dealing with all the F boys, the F girls, um, people not being emotionally available towards you. Hang on, this is by far three. I don't take reversals. I'm on this reading. Oh my god, there's another person here. Ugh. Someone at a distance as well. Um, okay. Well, fire signs are definitely significant in this reading. Um, I do feel like one of these people that's coming. So I see two, potentially three options for you. Um, that's coming in love. Uh, one of them, I like one of them better personally, but again, it's your life. It's your choice. Um, so this is not a king of wands and a knight of swords, which is like a very quick energy so so it's really coming in really quickly this one and with a like, quick communication you know um, you would have to wonder where this person stands with you yeah they're gonna be like hey do you want to go on a date um and i feel like you might be a bit um, caught off guard by this because you're just not used to people being so direct towards you so it'd be like oh wait a second let me just step back and assess the situation is this too good to be true is this person really is this person really who they say they are is this person an f boy an f girl um, they might be slightly younger than you If not, they'll be like the same age. That's what I'm getting. And either an air sign, they'll have air sign and fire sign placements, but I don't know what, what, what their sun sign is, but I think they'll come across like very like forward.
forward, straightforward and um, like they know what they want, but they also have a creative side to them and they're quite an impulsive person. So that's what might catch up God the most. Because you've been through the ringer, guys. I mean, this is like a wounded warrior energy and yeah, like... You know, you're like, I've been so patient. I've been waiting for this for so long. No one's coming. Because you're not going to sell for anybody. And you've just been living your life. You've just been kind of, you know, going out with friends, enjoying your time as a single person. Um, like, if you pick this pie, you definitely don't have, like, a situationship going on, if that makes sense. Like, you're fully single. Um... And if you just met somebody, like I said, in, in May or June, it's only like the beginning stage is talking to someone. So maybe that's the person that you could have been talking to. But I see someone else also coming in, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like this person's vibe is weird to me just because the Knight of Wands. <laughs> you guys, the Knight of Wands is the terror significant of an F boy and an F girl. Like... I feel like they they come in passionately, they come in quickly, they come in excitingly, but they probably leave as fast as they came in. That's why this person might be throwing you off because they're like coming in hot with communication and you're like, oh, is this the same as always? But I feel like you will still attract somebody that you've always attracted. But I don't see like this first person here who you either already met. You will know if you already met them. Like you, They will come to your mind. Um, but this is going to be just like always, um, fire sign energy as well. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person just wants to be single. Like they, they have no problem with just leaving people out in the cold. Maybe they've already left you out in the cold beforehand. I mean, they probably didn't kick you out of their house in the middle of the night or anything, but yeah, and I feel like a very defensive energy from this person. So if you ask, well, what are you looking for? They're probably not going to give you a straight answer. So personally, I don't see this as a very good option. However, um, we've also got the Knight of Cups underneath and the Three of Wands underneath there too. Um, meaning that you might either meet somebody soon while you're traveling doesn't have to be long distance like proper long distance travel just might go to another city or something um and they might also like show your attention too yeah they'll be very generous with you this person and it will catch you completely off guard so you might be like feel even a bit burdened with all these options you're like oh what are you what, what's happening what what should i do because Nothing's been happening for ages, and now now you'll have, like, three people. But I get all, like, very youthful energy from all three of them. So I feel like they'll be, if they're not younger, then they'll, like, they'll feel, they'll look younger than they actually are. And most likely they'll just be, like, slightly younger than you. I don't say anything tragic. Not that, like, age gaps are tragic, but, you know, like, if you're under... If you're under 25, your brain hasn't developed yet. So, um, you know, if you're like a 21-year-old dating a 31-year-old, a it's just just that the younger person's brain hasn't developed yet. They, they, they still have life to live and stuff. So, you know, but things happen in life. And um, who are we to judge, right? I personally wouldn't go for someone under 25 just because of those reasons. But anyway... So I want to get, I want to get some love cards. So this is going to be a longer reading, guys. So just enjoy yourselves. Um, so what are we getting? We'll just do person by person. So what are we getting with Knight of Swords? This one. Pay attention to the red flags. Damn, girl. Um, I feel like this is your energy. You're like so vigilant about the red flags. And this person like, what's going on where's the red flags why does this like why is he so direct what's he hiding um or she like obviously gender doesn't matter please 
I don't care about anybody's gender. Any, but everybody's welcome here. Obviously, the King of Wands. That's more of a masculine energy. So on the Yang spectrum of the Yin and Yang, it's not a spectrum. It's like it's just a circle, isn't it? But um. Anyway, no genders here, just energies, guys. So you'll be paying attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you're cautious. You're like, well, I've been hurt before. I don't want to be hurt again. Like, I want to get another one of this just because I feel I have, I personally have a good feeling about this. Obviously, like I said, it's your choice chemistry and you'll have chemistry with this person that's why you're still like uh, in the past when i had chemistry with people it didn't work out so now i'm kind of cautious i'm looking for red flags but personally i don't feel anything bad towards it so this is yeah this is good um what about the knight of wands person oh geez this person is a mess you guys and we got trust here so i feel like you won't be able to trust this person. Forgiving and learning. So it's just like another test from the universe for you. But we'll get one card just so it's a bit more. Okay. Honeymoon. So this person is here for a, long, for a good time. Not a long time. They're just here for the honeymoon phase. This is what I'm getting with this one. The finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they may be maybe struggling with their finances they might open up to you about that so that will be an indicator of who that is and we, with the knight of cups we have heart to heart conversations so this person is at a distance from you for one reason or the other and you will catch romantic feelings for them wow and they will catch romantic feelings for you too but i feel like again because it catches you off so by surprise you will feel a bit apprehensive about it as well. Now I have, this is like a no bullshit deck. Um, I wanna get some advice. There we go, stop trying to change people. That shit never works, you do you. Do you know what? If somebody wants to act like they're here one minute, they're out the, out the, the next, let them. Just let people show you who they are. I think you taking a step back over here is a good thing. Um, and then the other one says, you're a hot mess. Fact, clean yourself up. You look like a shit show. <laughs> I think like once you take a step back, maybe with the romantic feelings and stuff, you'll be like, all right, okay, let's take a breath here. Let's assess the situation. One more. Um, I don't see like a final outcome or anything with this just because we're not looking too far in the future you guys uh, energy is always changing things are always people have free will you know things are never set completely in stone um, but this is based on the path you're going on right now as you are right now so if you don't like what you're hearing like for example I don't want to date somebody with a long uh, at a distance then don't it's your life you got free will okay um <laughs> and as soon as, I, as soon as i said that they're like get your head out of your, your head get your head out of your ass pronto and it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing so maybe you do need to get your head out of your ass because of the fact that you're like, oh, I don't want to date someone that's distant. Mm. But then, like, when two people are mature, when two people know what they're looking for, when, when two people actually want each other, there are ways to work things out in life. Like I said, you will, of course, know it but with your situation and what is happening. Um, but, yeah, there's always a way if you want it to, to work. Um, but yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting that you'll be most drawn to the person at a distance to, to you. Um, and it is what it is. Like, you can't always control these things, you know. Um, I'm gonna pull another card. I'm just gonna do it like this. 
embrace it says embrace uh through embrace through each other you find the missing pieces so maybe you will find pieces of yourself you never knew you wanted or you never knew you were looking for it's such a beautiful image as well look at that i feel like something really tender is coming towards you guys with this water sign yes it's a water sign uh cancer pisces scorpio that person um yeah just open your heart but like don't rush into things step step back a little bit evaluate your situation no matter what with all of these people um but yeah it looks like three people coming in one is just not a good match whatsoever another one you're not sure about but they're kind of doing and saying all the right things but you're a bit like huh what, what's the catch i'm not sure even though there's chemistry and then the third person completely catches you off guard and you're like whoa I like this person so can I see what's gonna happen between you guys cuz I'm nosy and I want to see uh, if you're going on the path you're going on right now what's gonna happen between you guys okay so you'll definitely be burdened by the distance I feel like that's gonna put you off initially but this is your soulmate and you know that you will know that um hmm. seeing the scottish flag on this card <laughs> i never noticed it before <laughs> the x um maybe they're in scotland who knows or one of you is in scotland um yeah i feel like i feel like you will want to walk away And there is a choice to be made. I don't see a final outcome, to be honest, because either both of you or one of you needs to heal whatever crap they have from the past um, to come together. But there's definitely potential to come together. But if you're overflowing with fear or the other person is, then nothing's going to happen because change happens on the other side of fear. Where does courage come from? It comes from fear. You have to be afraid to be brave. Because if you weren't afraid, bravery then does not exist. It's just neutrality. You just feel like it's a regular Tuesday. Maybe you'll meet this person on a Tuesday. Strength. You have to stay strong in this. Um just do some inner healing as well like do what you feel like you need to do take care of yourself don't rush into things of course but at the same time don't push this person away because there is potential here but it also <clears throat> depends on both of you here not just you or not just that person yeah yeah you, you would need to take a leap of faith but this person will be willing to give you a um, this person will be willing to give you a love offer. <clears throat> and um, this never happens, but now my voice is cracking. <laughs> so you might find it hard to communicate your feelings to each other. You might be too nervous to say like, hey, I like you. <laughs> um, but you know, you gotta be brave. You gotta be brave. It's gonna be fine. The universe would not le let you astray and this is part of your path. Um, don't force yourself to be with people you don't want to be. If you feel like the options around you are not what you want, what you're looking for, that's fine. But maybe there's a reason for that and maybe, you know, the person is just a bit further away than you originally expected. But... There's a reason for this madness, and there's a reason why we keep running into unexpected things in life, and um, turns out to be better than we ever imagined. But we have to work on our fears first and on ourselves. So, this was your pile. I am moving on to 
pile number two. All right, pile number two, you chose, you chose graphic smoky quartz. Put it here. Don't worry, I'm not abusing my deck. I'm just clearing it from, and oh, I'm finishing what is coming towards you, love. Let's not freak out. Let's not freak out. The three of swords. Let's not freak out. Let's not freak out. Okay. Guys, you're a mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I know. I just want to give you a wee hug. I want to give you some love. Take this one. I want to give you some love. I want to give you... Um, but don't be sad because there's someone coming in for you really unexpectedly. Oh my goodness. And when we see that this is a completely different pile, I want to cry. I want to laugh. I want to be angry. I feel like you are going through it right now. Um... I'm going to break this to you. You're going through a spiritual awakening right now. It could have been... Um, it could have been... I forgot the word. It could have been because. I'll replace it. It could have been because of a new love interest you have. And they triggered feelings in you that you had dormant all this time some heavy energies here guys um yeah let's keep going let's um yeah because i i feel there's Somebody with fire placements in their charts with Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo that you've been in contact with, and they've they they've just yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say it. Something just snapped inside of you. That's okay. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry. Okay, what's coming towards you, love? I mean, you're in a defensive energy. And I feel like right now you feel like you've just walked away from love altogether, almost. Maybe not altogether, but you're not super hopeful. You're not like, oh my god. Uh, he's gonna or she's gonna come in any day now. No, none of that shit. You're like, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If it's not, it's not. Um, and you're just kind of living your life. I don't know. Um, so... Page of Wands. We have two court cards essentially. Page of Wands and Page of Cups. Here. I feel like it's the same person. I feel like it's the same person. Um, so you're already dealing with like... I think we've established that you already deal with somebody. You are single. They are single. But they have a lot of options. I don't know if you have a lot of options too. You know that best. But um, they have options. And maybe that's what threw you off a little bit. Like, oh. Yeah, because the tower was because of love because you're not coming together with this person so i don't know how long you've known this person um 
Yeah, King of Cups would just want to split the deck. Because you are... You know what you want. You know what you're looking for. You know that you're not going to settle just for anybody. You're happy on your own, actually. But this just threw you off. I don't know if you like if you have feelings. You probably do have feelings for this person. Um, you are the Empress and and the High Priestess at the same time. You are a super giving person, and you want somebody to give to you as well. Like you're done. You're done giving more than you receive. Yeah, I mean, happiness and a happy family life is coming your way. And I do see, I don't want to give anybody false hope unless I generally see it. But I feel like this person that you're talking to, possibly a water sign with fire placements, they're going to, or like a fire sign with water placements, um, they're going to start moving towards you and kind of give you get out of this lonely energy that they're in because they're kind of like in their head a lot right now but they're gonna start small and they're gonna start showing you a bit more that they are looking at you as a potential life partner. Life partner is the word I chose to, to um, use here. And it's quite interesting that they're seeing you. They see potential in you already. They're just like really in their head right now. They're, you're defensive. They're defensive. It's all up in the air. No one knows what's really going on. And I feel like they've probably gone through that tower moment themselves too. Yeah, because they see you as super attractive. But yeah, ultimately, we have the sun with the ten of pentacles here. And it's really, 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 really positive. Oh, it's the other way around, but okay. It's really positive and... Um, Honestly, the next person, if it's, you know, if you are talking to this this person right now, or you recently met somebody, then this person is going to eventually make an offer. But because this, this is what's coming towards your love, this whole situation might unfold in the very near future for you, that you will start talking to somebody, you'll get mega triggered, um, experience a bit of a awakening because of that and like maybe going inside um go within and work on your inner fears a little bit because this person is attractive they do have options and they do have people interested in them and that's you know that's just life <laughs> if because you're the empress and you're the high priestess you're super attractive beautiful fertile um in your feminine energy you know you're doing really well you're a generous, beautiful person. So they are too because you attracted them into your life for a reason. So yeah. Um, let me pull this for you. A love card. Uh, since we only have one person in this pile. See, we got the soulmate card. We got the soulmate card. So this is your soulmate. Um, and I've got on. I feel like you, right now or like in the near future, you'll feel like this is unrequited love. Um, but that's not the case. That's not the case. Because you will have everything you wished for. In love. Now, what's the advice? I've got unfiltered cards that are a bit harsh. But since I don't sugarcoat things, I like decks like this, you know? So, 
what's the advice here? <laughs> where where the F is your sense of humor? And then on the other side says laugh. So yeah, not everything has to be that deep, you guys. Like just you know, if you start talking to somebody, you don't have to immediately know where it's going. You don't have to immediately know what's going to happen. Just know that it's going to work out for you one way or the other. Like, you will end up in a happy relationship and having pets together, having children together, whatever you want. You know? Um, <laughs> yeah, this deck is a bit rough, isn't it? Um, and then I'll pull... Another one here. These are really beautiful cards with artwork at the back. Um, I sometimes let them fall out. I sometimes pull it out because it's like really awkward to shuffle them. But uh, it's fun. this one wants to come out. So I have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And this is the image. Beautiful, beautiful image. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're a bit, you kind of break in your own heart in a way where you're just letting your fears and insecurities take over, um, which is part of your growth. I feel like this is part of your path. This is supposed to happen, but at the same time, you need to understand that everything is happening as it should and you need to let people reveal to you who they are in their own time so yeah I feel like everything is gonna be fine everything's gonna be just great and lastly this I did this for the other group in the beginning but I'm gonna do this I'm gonna read from this guidebook with the crystal the crystal that you chose which is graphic smoky quartz it's 49 there we go immediately opened up so it's the stabilizer quartz um, graphic smoky quartz supports all the structures in the body, removing toxic debris and, and traumatic memories. It keeps you grounded and balanced in physical incarnation while exploring other dimensions. So I feel like you're releasing trauma that this person has triggered in you while you're in communication with them. And that's how it's supposed to happen. Um... The self-understanding message is lack of trust in yourself and other people creates psychological barriers that lie at the heart of your disease. Your self-esteem is low, creating a deficient immune system. Memories of old traumas have subtly amended your ancestral DNA. At a deep level, you have been compressed and limit limited. Allow yourself to expand again. I really like this last sentence here. It says, allow yourself yourself to expand again um yeah you just need to trust yourself too and allow things to unfold as they are in divination this card means undertake a shamanic shama is that is how i say it shamanic journey into the unseen world in search of healing there you will find the underlying causes of disease and outdated soul imperatives that are affecting your well-being offer yourself the gift of transformation the healing insight is healing is found in the darkest depths of yourself not in external forces so this person is not going to heal you this person is not going to fix your problems fix your wounds they're just going to be a mirror to you and what you need to heal if you haven't met them yet if you have they already are they already are reflecting everything back to you and you just need to listen you need to go within and you need to you need to deal with it and once you do happiness all the way ahead you guys so frequencies of this crystal is earthy and high with all chakras. Timing is autumn, so maybe autumn season will be significant for this connection. And then soul path is exploring taboos, treading where others fear to tread. Cool. Okay, I feel like this is quite a good place to leave it. And 
yeah just keep going don't pressure anything don't rush into anything that you're not ready but at the same time you know don't hold yourself back from the things you want okay okay group number two now on to group number three people who chose the amethyst put it over here so what is coming next in love group number three what is coming next in love oh wow <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Actually, take all of them. Why not? Why not? Oh, God, you guys, that's a lot of people going on. <laughs> okay, well, you are um, you are represented by the Empress here. Um, okay. I feel like this group might be um, fluid in their sexuality because I feel like, obviously, I don't care what, what, what it is, but um, I feel like people from all gender identities and all walks of life are present. Um, and which is, which is great. I mean, I feel like there's, um, <laughs> oh God, uh, th there's quite a lot of people coming your way. Um, it's safe to say that you have choices, that's for sure. Um, or if you were, if you're interested in only one gender, then people of all energies will be coming your way. So you you are attracting both feminine and masculine energies, even though they could be of a singular gender identity. That is not fluid. Does that make sense? But you are um, in your feminine energy and yeah you are just the super confident beautiful person that is actually extremely attractive i feel like people see you as extremely attractive and everybody wants a piece of you next you guys it, there's just like look at how many core cards you have so apart from you we have one two three four five so we got at least five options coming your way but um yeah you are obviously really successful so i don't know if you're like in the public eye or you're you're well known in your community or something that you naturally get noticed by people However, you you wish for somebody emotionally available. You wish for somebody in love, like to actually have feelings for you. But I feel like you've been attracting people. What you've been manifesting and what you are still manifesting is lusty connections. Hence why you are attracting so many people those most of those people just want a piece of you, you you for a short time not a long time they enjoy your energy they enjoy looking at you they think you're super attractive and that's why they want some but they, a lot of them don't have the intention of offering anything solid towards you interesting message with all these people I do see one option in particular, the King of Cups. It's something that you want. It's something that you would actually be happy with. Um, and you have the option to either accept them or reject them. Which is fine. I don't know if they might not present themselves as the most exciting person but we also need to remember that excitement fades and especially these f boys and these f girls 
they run with excitement that's their forte um they literally show you how to have a good time they're gonna take you out dine you but then the moment they're bored they're bored and they're out the door the real thing it builds over time it takes effort it takes consistency and it's not that exciting because it begins i mean it's exciting maybe for the people who are generally looking for it but a lot of people just like the idea of being in a relationship but they don't want to put in the work you know um so we have i want to talk know about this two cups here so we have this person is definitely single they're really actually abundant they'll definitely have quite a bit of money already in the bank I don't know what they do for a living. And they'll be making a choice between you and someone else, I take it. So it could be that another thing that's coming towards, well, <laughs> we've got 10 of cups there. I feel like they're there's somebody that you would have a really good relationship with but they have options too just like you and they'll be making a choice between you and someone else so i don't know if you were completely not open to feminine energy romantically maybe these two feminine energies over here the queen of cups and the queen of wands is the people he's the person the king of cups is choosing from from because we've got the king of cups the queen of cups next to each other and then the queen of wands down there somebody was extremely attractive somebody was like alluring so maybe they're putting moves on them as well take it as it resonates i feel like in this pile there's a few scenarios that could be going on um but it's clear that this person that i see would be good for you they also have options and they're also really abundant just like you and you're also manifesting an f boy and f girl coming towards you that's for sure offering you a bit of a bit of a bit of their pentacle maybe wine and dine you a little bit you know pay for something nice get your flowers just to get you you know romanced but yeah they're not gonna be there for they're they're there for the devil <laughs> they're there for one thing mainly they're not looking at giving you anything so this is this is something you should be wary of at the end of the day i feel like what you will do is step back and just watch what people are doing and let them show you their true colors at the end of the day there's no rush even for this person who's like making a choice between two people right the king of cups there a water sign by the way um e even they you know like they you don't have to make a decision just because somebody has options you know or, or choosing between two people yes you can talk to them yes you can go on a date with them yes you can you can entertain the idea of them and uh be receptive but you don't have to make any decisions immediately you need to show people if they can be who you're looking for if they are who you're looking for you know I'm gonna pull another card just to see so we don't get confused with all the energies. Yes, this is the perfect card. I mean you do you will be getting a lot of options and you'll be like meh. But then there will be one soon that you will actually like. 
You might even be dating two people at the same time while meeting this person as you're meeting this person and dating this this king of cups this water sign that i i said so the option could be also that you're also choosing from two people but yeah this only this one person here is gonna have actual serious intentions towards you the other people here no the other people here want to string you along but ultimately you will choose wisely because well you've been around for long enough now to know that actions speak louder than words however cliche it might sound take your time let people show show you who they are if they don't text you let them if they text you also let them fuck them you know um if they ask you out on dates, if they don't ask, just let people be who they are and show you who they are without having to push anything. Um, okay, now I wanna get a love message from a guy. Okay, this is keep an open mind. So maybe this person isn't like exactly, and yeah, you'll have romantic feelings for this person, the king comes, but maybe at first they won't appear As serious or maybe at first they won't yeah now we'll have this could be the one um flirt <laughs> as well Jenny. They, they just might not be like someone you would immediately normally go for but then i feel like you'll catch feelings eventually and you'll be like oh right okay <laughs> so yeah just give people a chance but also don't rush into things um yeah, because I only felt like I want to pull cards for this person here. Because the rest, I'm like, yeah, this is all clear. Um, what else? Because I've got little heart, heart cards. What else have we got? What message have we got? And I also want to say that if like you only want masculine energies the queen of cups queen of cups and the queen of wands you're represented as the queen of cups in this spread here um and if you are a masculine watching this and you pick this pile you you will attract like all of these women as well and just just flip it as as if i'm talking about the 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 feminine in this just flip the genders as they um as they appear because i see like the knight of wands the knight of cups like they normally present as masculine energies but they don't have to be as well like yeah yeah this is a very fluid pile like gender really does not matter okay this is the one so we got trust and this is the image beautiful uh transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform it's also you're you're just being called to trust trust in the process trust in the universe and actually i left one card behind here healing so I feel like this connection will bring you healing as well. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So cool. Very cool. And I have root cards. So let's pull root cards as advice. What's the advice? So maybe you struggle to trust people right off the bat. And that's actually okay because people should be able to earn your trust but also if you come into these connections immediately distrustful that's also unfair for everyone involved it's best to just trust that the universe has your back rather than the trust the randomer but also trust yourself that you will be okay walking away and that you are able to recognize the red flags which you are because i've seen you know you weren't born yesterday you're fine so this is the card it says move the fuck on and time to let go 
What? What do they need to let go? Okay. So that's ancient shit is cool. You need some effing yoga in your life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some built up energies you need to let go of. Do go do some yoga. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, let you letting go is healing as well, isn't it? Um it's trusting. You you trust by letting go. Just let the universe deal with it. Yeah, that's it. There's no more cards here. And now I'm going to read um, your Amethyst card. The one that you picked for this pile. And it says, Amethyst, inner peace, number 17. So actually, the 1st of July could be significant. Maybe some you met somebody on the 1st of July. 17th, maybe the 17th of this month. Whichever month you're watching, this is a time of reading. So a powerful protector, purifier, and natural tranquilizer. Amethyst calms the mind and balances extremes. If you have an addictive personality, make a constant concerted effort to overcome such behavior or obsessions of any kind and avoid overindulgence. Balance work and play. You are prone to excess in both. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions brings peace. Hand your will over to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish i'll say that again hand your will over to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish the fact that you're manifesting people that are only lusting after you also says a lot because if you're in that energy that maybe deep down you don't feel like you're worth of anything else or anything more but you are clearly because you are subconsciously manifesting this king of cups or this queen of cups whichever energy you prefer um yeah divination messages are release self-defeating programs do not rely on others you create anything you set your mind to be shrewd in business dealings pay attention to your family an honest verdict and success in a court case are possible. Maintain your integrity and let the universe decide. And then healing insight is letting go of cravings leads to inner freedom and creates well-being. Now with time, we've got Aquarius and Pisces. So maybe this connection is going to move forward either in Aquarius season or Pisces season. Which is Aquarius is what? End of January. And then Pisces follows immediately after that. So between January and uh, March. Um, and Soul Path is developing unshakable inner peace. So yeah, overall this is a pretty, pretty positive message at the end. Because good things are coming. It's just that. Discerning between all these people that are coming your way is the key here and using your life experience to to find out who they are and what they actually want from you. Um, but yeah, I obviously don't exactly know what's going to happen between you and this King of Cups, but they're coming and just listen to your heart and follow intuition okay all right guys love you and follow subscribe tear with chris i'm on instagram and youtube bye